Hi guys, it's me, Leona, here to do a daily word with you guys. I pray you're all doing good and that God's blessing your life and that you're putting him first in your life. Okay, um, let me fix this. Anyway, we're going to pray, say a little prayer and we'll get started. Okay, we're good. we have something very interesting to talk about today and um, tell you in a minute. Okay, let's pray. Father God, I just praise you and glorify you. I thank you for this time together with my brothers and sisters. I ask you to bless bless our hearts, help them to be open to your word today, Lord God, that you would, Lord, teach us what you want us to know today, Father God. Open up our hearts and open up our ears so that we can hear, Father God. Thank you for this time together, Father, in Jesus' name. Okay, guys, let's get started. Anyway... Can any of us honestly say we, do, we don't need more wisdom? We must constantly beseech God to give us wisdom for making decisions. Sometimes we want to take a vacation from our troubles. We want to run away as far as we can and kick back, enjoy life without interruption. If you think you could do that successfully, you're dead wrong. Remember the movie, What About Bob? I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it was about a psychiatrist who desperately wanted to go on a vacation away from one of his patients named Bob. Yet Bob kept popping up everywhere until the psychiatrist himself goes crazy. We can't just pack our bags and skip out on our troubles because they will find us. And before making a decision like that, we must count the cost. We must seek the Lord's face, asking his perfect will for our lives. We have all heard the stories about people who decide to uproot their families and move to some remote location, growing their own food and living off the land. Parents want to move their families from the corruption of the world, but they still encounter hardships. What surprises me most of all is that often these families, they don't even have a church. They say, oh, well, we tried one, but it didn't work out. That's not the way it should be. When you move, the first thing you should do is look for a new church and a, new, a pastor that loves the Lord, that could teach you more and you can learn more about our Savior. We must have the fellowship that comes from a church family. Sometimes we are so intent on going our own way that we forget our priorities. Where is God in all your decision making today? Did he open the doors for us, or did we simply just barge through them? Remember what Isaiah 40, 31 says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up like wings as eagles, and they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. We must learn to wait upon the Lord and have his perfect peace and guidance. This is God's will for our lives. When you want to run, ask yourself this. Where are you going? Think of David's words in Psalm 139, 7-10. Where shall I go from thy spirit? Where shall I free from, flee from thy presence? If I ascend into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, thou art there. If I, if I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. David recognized that God was everywhere. We can never hope to escape from him. Where would you go? We should take comfort knowing that God is always with us rather than trying to find a way to escape. Sometimes we try to run from God. We can't run from Him. He created us. He knows every hair on our head. You know, His Holy Spirit lives in our hearts if we have Him. And that's a part of God. Nobody could take away from you. So if you've never asked God into your heart, you should ask him today because you don't know if you'll be here tomorrow or 10 minutes from now, five minutes from now. And it's simple. You just say, Lord Jesus, please come into my heart. 
Please cleanse and wash me, heal and restore me to the joy of your salvation, Father. Forgive me for all my sins and have mercy upon my soul, dear God. Help me to change my ways. Help me to change my life, Father. Help me to serve you, to love you, to know you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. He wants you to accept him into your heart today. He loves you so much. You're precious to him. Whether you believe it or not, you are. So remember that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings, wings like eagles, as eagles, and they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. And that's Isaiah 40, 31. So take that with you today, guys. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, and they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. So put your hope and trust in Him today. It's the best way. Every other way, we fall, we fail. And he's always there to pick us up. That's why he sent his son to live in our hearts, the Holy Spirit. It's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And you have him, you have everything. All right. Well, God bless you guys. Love you guys. Praying for you guys. Keep praying for me. I always love and need your prayers. All right. Take care, guys. Remember, keep up the faith.